I just realized that we have never hung out off camera. That's true. We've only spent time together on your podcast and on camera. Yes. This is the most insincere relationship I've ever been in. I know. <laughs> we can only hang out if it's benefiting us I in some way. Our careers. Some external way. <laughs> We've literally never hung out off the record. But you have so many things going on. You, you, you I co-create. I am nope. so unemployed, it's ridiculous. Really? This is the biggest part of my week. Look at <laughs> me. I am wearing Kim Kardashian's dress from 2005. I am no, so you, desperate. You look gorgeous. I, you're right. You look like I do. I mean, this is the best it's ever gonna get. So take a good look. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy it's, this. It's got like I mean, this is a compliment, yeah. a, a very sincere compliment. Yeah. It's it's like a sexy Kill Bill. Oh, I like that. Right? That could, yeah, that is the color is a little ridiculous. It's um, it's kind of like wetsuit material too. So I, I like that. I'm ready for anything. Ready for anything. You never know what might happen. Well, no. how do you, what, you have had, you've had a talk show. I have had a talk show. It's really cool to be on your talk show after I, having my own talk show. Yes. You're doing it very well. Oh, well. Um, I like I, where this is going. I, <laughs> but, oh. <laughs> I'm kidding. You no, know, something I think America needs to know at home is that, is that Pete does, there's an audience, there's a live audience. Uh, a lot, there's a live audience, that's them. Those are real people, and between tapings, you do the warm up, which means yeah. you talk to them. And, and most pe most talk show hosts don't do that, so I don't know if they just didn't tell you yet that you don't have to, <laughs> <laughs> or that you genuinely just love performing. I have to keep the plate spinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You if need I just... that much attention. <laughs> <laughs> you can't not be performing for one second. Well, that's the genius, is I've masked it as a service. It's yeah. like, I have to give and give. Yeah. Really, I'm just a whore. Right. <laughs> well, no, when, when sitting next to me in this dress, you're definitely not the whore here. I, but, um, I would try on that. Dress. But I respect that because I... <laughs> Sweeps week is coming up. Sure. Um, here's the thing, though. I Please. have so much respect for that because you seem so relaxed. When I had a talk show, I was very stressed out. I was very anxious. You, what are you taking? <laughs> I mean, you look really relaxed. I really appreciate that. Uh, I take a few Tylenol PM every morning. <laughs> Good. Just to take the edge off. I respect that. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to go to bed, but you're, you're just kind of like in a daze all day. Yeah. I mean, and you're just kind of wearing your pajamas. So, I mean, you're just sort yeah, of like... Yeah, very cash. I like how cash you are. Andy Richter said I looked like a stereo salesman. <laughs> Can't I help mean, notice you're uh, looking at the bows right there. You know? I know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, your undershirt, not even, I mean, there's I someone know. whose only job is to make sure that he looks good. Yes. And I feel like she's not going to put this on her resume. Oh, <laughs> no. I mean, the top, but I mean, I brought, I've been getting ready for three hours, all right? So I just, you know. No, I understand. This is casual. Yeah, you wouldn't, I, I respect that. It, I think I look good and I'm very happy with wardrobe, but if you came over my house, yeah. 3 a.m. If there was cameras there, I would come. <laughs> <laughs> on a new show, yeah. Wake Up My Buddy. Other... <laughs> it's on FXX. Cuddle in with Pete. Yeah, cud cuddling with Pete. I like that show. Yeah, I'm on. You get a lot of pheromones and pause vibes. Let's do that pause vibe. Pause vibe. By the way, you can't abbreviate everything you're saying. People need to understand. Sure can. <laughs> I feel like you have your own language going. You have your own like world. It's that I working. Feel like... Yeah, it's obviously. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. It's working for my life. It, yeah. You know, life is dull. Uh, I'm like Harvey R. Bardem. <laughs> and Vicky Christina Barcelona. Is that how you pronounce it? Javier? Javier. <laughs> what do you say? What is it, Caviar? I don't know. I'm not... Wait. Javier? <laughs> Caviar Bardem, is that? <laughs> That's it. Always thinking yeah, of sketch ideas. I respect that. Car... <laughs> Caviar Bardem. You guys, just this is how the creative process yeah. happens. You just witnessed it. That's your sketch for yeah. the next episode. That's, that's going to be a horrible sketch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking about this guy. Yeah, no, stay. See, oh, stay with here's you. the thing. I love how you're so like playful and well, all over the place and so, so... like crazy. Well, <laughs> it's again, just super unprofessional. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, as a guest, you're just like having panic attacks. You're like, I, I have this like whole set of things I'm supposed to talk about. And oh well, just, yeah, we no, talked. I don't. We talked about that on on your podcast. You like you're a more of a control person. I said you're on television, Pete. Yes. <laughs> There's. This is real. This is a real show. I mean, this isn't your podcast. Yeah. You're your attic anymore. You're famous now. You have to just step it up, man. I could take it or leave it. <laughs> I mean, like. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's